What, what? Welcome to another edition of Does It Bite? We're going to talk about fruit flies and drain flies, which may not seem very interesting, but Michael? Yeah, so we're going to do a fly episode for all you fly people out there. And there it That's is. Awesome. Michael <laughs> asks you can make anything cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being here today. No problem. Thanks for having me again. All right. So let's talk a little bit about these. They all look the same to me. They're mm -hmm. tiny, they're buzzy, they're irritating, and they're in my kitchen. Yeah. All right. Tell yeah. us about the fruit fly. So the fruit fly um, is very, I mean, they're all a nuisance. Yeah. You know, they, they don't hurt you. They don't. You know, they don't make you sick or anything like that. They're just a nuisance, you yeah. know. And then the fruit fly is going to be attracted to fruit. Yeah. You know, a lot of overripe fruit, okay. a lot of rotting fruit. And they, they love that stuff because they can feed on it. And mm -hmm. their larvae that they lay their eggs, they lay oh. their eggs in it. Oh, so, so if I've got them buzzing around a piece of fruit and I pick that fruit up to eat it, yeah. I'm eating larvae possibly? Could. yeah. I did yeah. not even know that till this red hot and, second. And, and can, can, I'm, I'm taking a little bit step further. Okay. okay? Mm, do so it. So I, I cleaned it up and said larva. But the I common name for larva is maggots. Oh my yeah. goodness. So the maggots. You just yeah. took fruit flies to a whole <laughs> new level yeah, for us. Yeah. That is not fly, Michael. Yeah. Not fly at all. <laughs> yeah, so they're attracted to that. They're laying their eggs in it because okay. that way, when their eggs hatch out and the larva has something to eat, is their food source is directly right there. Oh, so, my. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So what times of year in, like, Lubbock, Amarillo, do we see fruit flies? So we're looking at more of the uh, summertime, okay. springtime, but they can happen all, all year. How do they even know we've got fruit in the house? Well, a lot of times they are brought in on fruit. Oh. So there's some larvae that are in the fruit that when you bring it into the, your house, those larvae tend to eat. And especially if you just, just leave it there, especially people who have like decorative bowls. Yeah, like that's you, me. Yeah. I keep it out in a beautiful bowl in yeah. the kitchen. <laughs> and it just sits there. Yeah. And over time, it starts to overripe and things like that. And that's when the maggots are eating. And then so a they, little extra protein in right. the fruit, right? Yeah, exactly. Because that doesn't really hurt you. It's just super gross. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you like to eat maggots, it's, it's, it's cool. But yeah. But they, so. they emerge as adults. Okay. And as they emerge as adults, they start laying their eggs. Okay. So there's the cycle. Yeah. It and it, go, go. it goes pretty fast because yes. it's like one day you have a handful and before you know it, it's like they're yeah. everywhere. Their, their reproductive is really fast. And how do you get rid of them? Like I've looked this up online. You, know, you, you put out, a, a, I don't know what it is, like vinegar and you make a funnel with a piece of paper <laughs> yeah. trying to catch them. Yeah. And it never it never works for me. Yeah. But yeah. What, how do you treat something like that? So the way we would treat, so the first thing you want to do is get rid of the source. Okay. If you could get rid of the food source for both the adult and the maggots, okay. then you're taking out that the basically the generation. Okay. Now you're just dealing with the adults that are flying around. Okay. Uh, what we do, we have fruit fly glue board traps that oh. we can put inside of a customer's home, and we also can do a chemical treatment inside the home. Um, hmm. The customer just can't be in there for three hours after we did a treatment okay. because it attacks the flying insect in the room. So we don't want you breathing that stuff in and stuff like that. So we say be gone for three hours after we do the treatment. So that's usually how we treat for fruit flies. So you must have to have a pretty intense fruit fly infestation to do a chemical treatment like that. Yeah. What What are some of the things that you've seen? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I did one and sweet, sweet older lady. Aww. Very sweet. But she loved having oranges and uh, lemons and limes so she was really big on citrus really big but she didn't like to throw stuff away so she had a major fruit fly issue major so we walked in and i mean you're just hit with them as you're walking in and they're just buzzing everywhere so i already knew what the problem was and you not know? probably not just in the kitchen they no, were they all were, over they the were house all, yeah it, the, the population had grown quite oh a my bit gosh. um so we had to talk to her about throwing a lot of that stuff out throwing it away and then letting us do a chemical treatment for her which took care of it 
right then and there. Wow. So uh, she was kind of disappointed that she had to throw her stuff away. But we told her she could get more. But just kind of cover it, it up. Fridge. Yeah, keep it in the fridge. <laughs> cover it up, you know. Oh. But uh, but we were happy to help her. But, you know, little things like that, people just don't know. Yeah, so, you don't think about it. You no. don't think about it. Uh-uh. So um, you got fruit flies. And then I'd never heard of this, but apparently it's a thing. A drain fly, yes. also known as a moth fly. Do we get those around here? We have them bad around here. I mm-hmm. may have them and not even know. What yeah. is? What are they? Tell us about them. Yeah, so a drain fly is it's kind of like a, it's a shorter, smaller fly. Okay. That has I call it a fat fly. Okay. Because it's kind of short and stocky, and its wings come out more uh, prominently than okay. a regular fly. Because okay. the regular fly's wings are more like this. Interesting. And theirs are more like this, and they're hairy. Okay. So when you kill them. They, they fly the very... The little fuzzes. Right, exactly. Then I probably have seen them. Yeah, know exactly. That. And they don't fly as well as a regular house fly. Okay. So they're more slow, lethargic. They're the, they're the fat fly. Okay, so the fat you can, fly. Yeah, you can, you can kill them pretty quick. That's not, so. not fly, Michael. <laughs> hey, man, that, that's just that's fly. <laughs> <laughs> so that, those are what those guys are. Aren't yes. you glad we can just entertain ourselves? You know, this, this, is, this is what it's all about. For all five of you who are watching, <laughs> we appreciate you, but, you know, we're... We're really good. Yeah. Just us. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So keep going about the drain fly. Yeah. We know what he looks like. What else yeah. about him? Um, the reason why it's called a drain fly is because it lays its eggs and the larvae are in your drain. So they have to have your drain. And the thing about the drain is if you have drain flies, you probably have a plumbing issue Ugh. because they lay their eggs in a clog. So all mostly Never is sinks, it. mostly is sinks or bathroom sinks, uh, kitchen sinks. Um, so there's a clog there, and as you're putting stuff in the sink and all that, a lot of that stuff's organic material. Right. So that clog got it builds up down in the drain there, mm-hmm. and the drain fly will find it and lay their eggs in it. So those maggots or larvae will eat all that organic material inside the drain. It's a good thing I've had breakfast already. I'm telling you. (laughs) And they will, you know, they will grow and then they'll fly out the drain and then the cycle continues. So when we go do a treatment for drain flies, there's not much we can do other than the chemical treatment where you have to leave for three hours, but the customer can get their drains cleaned out. Yeah. If you have your drains cleaned out, that usually takes care of the problem right then and there. Okay. Um, a lot of times, you know, if you know if there's some financial issues where they can't afford a plumber right. at the time, we would tell them to pour just a little bit of bleach down the oh, drain. Okay. That will kill the larva at that time. Right. Um, but there's still eggs in there. Okay. So they'll just have to continue to pour bleach down every week or so to kill the larva that's in there to help maintain that problem before they could get that drain cleaned out. Like a Drano type thing, would that work? Um, yeah. So if, to if, get that clog yeah, to move? Yeah, if you can, yeah, if yeah. it'll work. If, if it'll, it'll work, work. yeah. It ha- it's probably a pretty big obstruction if yeah. it's enough to have drain flies. Yeah. So how do you know? So they, they, they're they in that drain, but they're flying up out of mm-hmm. it just like the fruit fly, mm-hmm. and they're just, they can be all over the house. Yeah, definitely, yeah, because they those are, those little fat flies, the drain flies, the hairy flies, yeah. they are, to me, more of a nuisance than a fruit fly. Yeah. Um, because their their fruit flies are going to stay really close to their food source. They're kind of okay. going to kind of hover, but drain flies they will be go all off the and then come back to the drain to lay their eggs. So yeah, yeah. Wow. So anything else that we should watch for or can do to prevent either one of those? Yeah. I mean, prevention is going to be the biggest right. thing. So you know, keeping your drains clear. If you're starting to see your drains are stopping up and things like that, get that cleaned out. Um, Fruit, keep them covered, keep them in your refrigerator. Okay. Uh, just do something to keep And throw them it out. away when it starts to get old. Yeah, Don't if let it starts it to get like brown and crusty There's and moldy. There's probably something not good in it. Yeah, I mean, we all get busy. And, you know, I need it to happens. throw that away. Yeah. Uh, then you get kind of caught up watching King of Queens like I do. So, you know. I love it, Michael. Thank you for another riveting edition of Does It Bite? <laughs> it's a fly episode. The fruit fly versus the drain fly. The flyest episode you'll ever see. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much. What?